I'm Elda May and thanks very much for watching Music News. Yeah. Imelda May, it's a pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. Merry Christmas Eve. Love the, love the jumper. Oh yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It. Uh, we're here at uh, Abbey Road for Carols by Kingdom Light. Uh, yeah. How did you get involved and what can we expect? Oh, um, well I was only asked actually last minute and um, this was our day off, me and the lads were on tour so I had the, d I had the day to do it. So, yeah, let's go for it. What are you so, going to be uh, singing? Uh, baby Please Come Home. Uh -huh. oh, great Darling nice. Love, great song. Great yeah, song. yeah, superb. You know, just see you out there with the families. It's a real good period up to, coming up to Christmas then. Obviously oh yeah, embracing it. yeah. I know this is that's that's just me normal babies on the road. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah. Normal us, us all on the road together. But yeah, um, I'm gigging up until the twentieth. We finish. Our we went on tour in April. And we finish on the nineteenth and twentieth of December in the O2 in Dublin. So that's going to be really good fun because there's going to be hundreds of my family going to it. And then uh, I'll stay there for a couple of days and then get back home and hopefully yeah, yeah. do as little as possible. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Well, I'll cook a big dinner, feed everybody, eat as much as I can and then just do the same as everyone else. Sit with me slippers on, watching the telly and eat chocolate. <laughs> Great stuff. The last gig yeah. you did, uh, the Roundhouse that we uh, reviewed, 5 out of 5 for Music News. Fantastic. Is, is life on the road, you know, best part of the job for you? I love being on the road, I love touring, I love all of it really, um, I love the whole process for different reasons, so I love the quiet time where I write my album on my own, Yeah, yeah. Um, I love rehearsals in with the guys, um, you know, seeing it all, I feel it all come together, I love getting into the studio recording, I pro produce my own albums, um, this one Tribal that I did was yeah. the first I co-produced with Mike Crossy, and that was great, so I love uh, producing, I love um, twiddling around with all the knobs and getting the sounds I want and getting the great performances out of my fabulous band. <laughs> uh, mixing, mastering, everything, getting the artwork together and then getting on the road and then off we go for a good chunk of the year. So it's yeah, all yeah. really different. Yeah, absolutely. No, no, but um, I mean, with Tribal, how, how, you know, back in April you released it, I mean, were you pleased with the way it was received? And if you had to, if you could look, you know, looking back is always different, but is there anything you would change about the album now? No, I'm happy with the album. Um, I'm, I'm very happy with it because I think an album is like a little moment in time for anybody I think that's right. And you can always go back and do various things, but it has to be that period of time. And Definitely. I don't think for me, I can't make myself write a particular album. That is what I need to write at that time. So it's a little, a little just period of your life. And I like that. I like that about an album that you have to you know, step back and, and leave it. And then yeah. when you go on to the next album, that's the album that you need to make then. You know, I don't think you can change that. For, for me, I can't force it one way or another, you know. That's yeah. what I feel like making. Because for me, I have to be able to put my full heart and soul into it. And you can't do that if it's not true to what you're feeling at that time. Does that no, no, it absolutely does. So, no, I wouldn't go back and change it. I'm happy. And it went really well. I went up to number one in Ireland, yeah. number three in England. And around the rest of the world, it's done pretty solidly for the kind of music that I do. I'm not mainstream for yeah, so yeah, number yeah. one, number three is amazing for me. And it's only um, becoming mainstream. It's, great, <laughs> it's changing. But it's really, it's really good the, for me. It's about um, the gigs, really, more than anything else. I'm not like an. Um, I would never be in singles charts or anything. For me, it's when we go out gigging and I can see that it's the ve venue is packed when you're in the middle of nowhere in Germany or up a mountain in America or you know wherever you are England Ireland Scotland anything um, and I just love America. to see the venues are packed yeah America yeah, it's doing well so it's, yeah chocolate block great great gigs and um, so that's kind of the icing on the cake for me because it means you're getting you're getting your music to people sure, and people sure, are enjoying sure. it and they want to spend the hard earned cash and take the effort to go and see you you know and I love yeah, that yeah. and then you have a big party all together and it's it's um you know you can you can it's tangible you know yeah 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 it's really definitely. nice i like that as opposed to um chart numbers or it's selling out there on the internet and all that it's, but to actually have people yeah, in it's a physical. venue you, you can, can see smell them, each you can other you know with them. yeah yeah definitely <laughs> i like what, that what about sort of new material then are you already thinking about the next yeah. album writing stuff yeah. do you write on the road no can't write on the road ah. 
can't write on the road. I try, but then it becomes every song is <laughs> travelling again. <laughs> so how, how does the songwriting process work? You have to sort of give yourself time away? I have time away. Um, you have to just live normal life. Otherwise, you're just writing about hotels and buses. Yeah, and that yeah, gets yeah. boring. I mean, there's a million songs written about being on the road. Um, and you could easily add to that. And uh, So for me, I have to live just to just ground myself again. And then I almost have to get... Uh, bored in in a way to to work because um, not bored. I don't, I don't get bored to write me albums, but I almost have to get bored in order for them to daydream and just stop. Because at the moment it's like you know I have to do an interview, you know four yeah, o'clock, five yeah, o'clock yeah, sound sure. checks, gigs, do, 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 you know in and out. So you just stop. Go home, and then my brain starts to go for walks, thoughts. and then gather your thoughts, daydream, and and then it all starts to the juices flow, and so I'm starting to think of the next album already. But I'm going to take January off, and then uh, and then just see what happens writing wise in February. But when you say like take January off, what about if you're just driving along and suddenly you're hit by an inspirational idea, thought, a bit of music? Do you just pull over, start writing there and then. Oh no, I'm always doing that. I'm always doing that. I always have ideas for things. I'll have little lines. Somebody might say something. I'll write things down all the time. So I'm always, it's always going. Right, but right. it's kind of, um, if I'm being totally honest, it's almost unsettling for me when I start writing. I mean, properly start writing for an album. I'm always writing little bits, but it's almost unsettling for me. Um, and I almost have to keep that closed in order to either live a normal life or, or, or get on with my normal day, which, which is gigging. Um, it's like open floodgates and you have to because I have to write honestly so you have to kind of pour it all out whatever way yeah, it comes yeah, yeah. and it, it, I couldn't live like that emotionally every day so I, I do definitely let it all out in order to write and then I, I almost have to contain it again I don't know if that yeah no sense. no no it does so that, yeah, that's, that's yeah, the only way to capture I can do that, it. That, that emotion I suppose so I'm always it? getting inspiration as I go but to then actually properly focus and, and write an album and then work on it and then the technical is getting arrangements sorted and who's playing what where and to how to open it end it where the middle's like you know all that kind of stuff I love all that stuff I yeah yeah I mean um, you know here really boring long answers <laughs> no, no no absolutely not I mean here you say you know I just saw you grabbing hold of your daughter any second yeah. you can get just for the interview I'm sure you'll do it just afterwards but you know you have been quite successful this year you know coming up the, the whole your whole career has sort of been building up to well I suppose it's always this moment uh, as it is now and um, you know it has been successful in, in, in Ireland in America finally the UK as well is really appreciating your sound do you think is this sort of you know you're a mother as well obviously in the last couple of years are all the bits of the jigsaw coming together and think this is the happiest you've almost ever been oh no 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 you, I think I don't think you can ever be like that because then you you just sit on your laurels no no don't, I don't think you ever think uh, there has to be longings you know you have to try and that's life, isn't it? Yeah, There's never yeah. you, you're always striving. But is it a good period? I probably is it say. a good period? Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Happy doing what I'm doing. Um, I'm delighted to have my daughter um, on the road with me, and she's at a great age. Yeah, you know, she's yeah. Two, and she's she's keeping us all entertained on the bus. And What's her favourite Mel the Mouse song? Oh, she doesn't like me to sing. <laughs> 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 she doesn't want me to sing. She likes to sing. I have to be quiet. Yeah. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. There you go. She sings. She sings to me. A star in the making. Yeah. 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 She's very bossy. Yeah. Good. It's typical good. two-year-old. You know. She sings Balamori to me a lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And Jingle Bells at the moment. Excellent stuff. Where, where do you draw your inspiration from then? Which uh, Which are the artists that sort of inspire you? And do you listen to them when when you're getting to that songwriting process? Um. Not specifically. I won't sit down and I, I'll listen to music constantly and then when it comes to writing I listen to nothing um, because otherwise then you're going to just write somebody else's album <laughs> so I, I, I tend to not listen to anything so I can get my own my own thoughts gathered but I'm, I listen to so much um, eclectic. at the moment I'm into um, I've always loved me obviously rock and roll and jazz and punk but I'm listening to a lot of blues that I used to listen to a long time ago Magic Sam is um, big on me books at the moment and uh, Devotchka is a great yeah, band yeah, that I'm yeah, listening to at band. the moment so yeah I'm, I'm, um, I'm moving my way through loads of, loads of stuff 
Good stuff. You, I mean, you've got a very strong image, always have. I mean, who, who's your, so who are the style icons that you, you look up to then? Oh, God. Of course, Elvis looks great. Gene Vincent and his leathers. <laughs> Uh, Elvis and his Elvis think, think about Wanda Jackson and, and Wanda Jackson is a great one. Um, but I, I don't really think it's, it's, it, it doesn't dwell on my mind. Style doesn't. I like to do myself up and look good. Yeah, I don't, yeah exactly. Uh, I don't study anybody. I just like anyone else. You like to get yourself ready and feel a bit dapper. Yeah, you yeah, definitely. Thing, you know? Uh, but thanks a lot for your time. It's been a pleasure. I can't, I can't wait for tonight's Thank performance you, here. Abby Road. I'm to do it. I am kind of. Um, I need to get my head around this Kindle business because I'm, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not doing that at all. So I'll have to. Here I am promoting it. And, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know much about it, so I'm going to have to to lend. They've they've given me one, which is very nice. Good, good. For my time, so I'm going to get my head around Kindle. Excellent. But, but yeah. For somebody just getting into Imelda May, what, what three songs would you say across your whole oh, sort of career? Lord. Right, these sort of sum me up. Oh, Lordy. That's a really tough one. Oh, I'd have to get a mixture. Johnny Got a Boom Boom. Uh, Kentish Shamwells. And Tribal. Excellent. Thanks a lot for your time. Anything else you'd like to say to music news watchers? I hope you enjoy the night and uh, maybe see you at a gig sometime. And thank you very much for your time. Fantastic. Thanks thank a lot. You. Cheers. Thanks.